Welcome everyone to the next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. This episode is looking at benchmark 3.2, verifying trigonometric identities. So here we're asked to verify the identity 1 minus sine squared over 1 minus cosine of x equals negative cosine of x. Now uh, our strategies we're going to probably start on the left side as that seems to be the most complicated and we have a couple of a couple of options um, uh, here I'm going to get uh, I'm actually going to get a common denominator so this uh, 1 minus sine squared x over 1 minus cosine x I'm going to get a common denominator and make this multiply top and bottom by 1 minus cosine x. And so I have 1 minus cosine x minus sine squared x all over 1 minus cosine of x. Uh, now, um, since my end goal is to have a cosine, I'm going to change the sine squared using my Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So 1 minus cosine of x minus 1 minus cosine squared of x over 1 minus cosine of x. So now I've replaced that sine squared with a 1 minus cosine squared using the Pythagorean identity. Uh, if I distribute in this negative sign here, I'm going to have uh, 1 minus cosine x plus, uh, excuse me, minus 1 plus cosine squared x all over 1 minus cosine of x. Uh, okay, now our ones will cancel out. So here and here. And now I have a negative cosine x plus cosine squared of x. Now again, I'm, I'm wanting this negative cosine here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is actually factor out a negative cosine of x. And watch what happens. If I factor out a negative cosine of x here, I'm left with 1. And I factor out a negative cosine x here, I'm left with negative cosine of x. And then that is divided by 1 minus cosine of x. Since I have 1 minus cosine x on top, 1 minus cosine x on the bottom, those will cancel. And I am left with negative cosine of x. It equals negative cosine of x. There's my verification. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this problem a alternate way. So let me clear this. And uh, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Uh, using a similar trick, 1 minus sine squared of x over 1 minus cosine of x. And what I'm going to do first is replace this sine squared with my Pythagorean identity, 1 minus 1 minus cosine squared x over 1 minus cosine of x. Now, this 1 minus cosine squared of x, that is actually a perfect uh, factoring difference of two squares. So that will get replaced with 1 minus 1 plus cosine of x times 1 minus cosine of x. And so I'm using a factoring technique on this particular problem. 1 minus cosine of x. And now uh, my cosine, 1 minus cosines will cancel and I end up having 1 minus 1 plus cosine of x. Uh, distribute in the negative sign so I have 1 minus 1 minus cosine of x. Ones cancel. and get negative cosine of x. 
equals negative cosine of x. So I had two different strategies, but both were somewhat similar in that I got the 1 minus cosine of x to cancel in the denominator and also used the Pythagorean identity to replace the sine squared with uh, a cosine squared. And that's kind of going to be one of our strategies. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.